Hello, I'm Tony Robertson with Peter Arndt at Anzac Square on St Patrick's Eve. Peter, why have you come to Anzac Eve today? Tony, um, I'm part of the West Papua Solidarity Group in Brisbane and we've been waging a long-term campaign um, against Indonesian security forces, violence and human rights abuses against the people of West Papua. It just so happens that today, five leaders of the Papuan people who were arrested in October last year were convicted of treason and sent to jail for three years for peaceful, unarmed protest. Papuans can't express their political views freely without getting sent to jail. And I believe that it's illegal for Papuans to raise their national flag. That's right. The Papuans have a special flag, the Morning Star flag, and there are a number of Papuan activists who are supporting freedom in their homeland and challenging Indonesian rule in West Papua, who've been sent to jail for quite considerable periods of time, like Philip Palmer, a very famous uh, political activist who was sent to jail for 14 years for raising the flag. Peter, what can ordinary Australians do about this situation? Ordinary Australians can speak up, talk to their local MPs, talk to the Australian Government and challenge Australia's handling of the West Papua issue. In particular, we help to train the Indonesian security forces which subject the Papua people to much violence and intimidation. We should be challenging that that support in asking the Australian Government to stop funding it. Thank you very much Peter Arndt from the West Papua Solidarities.